Hey everybody! Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that keg of uh, double IPA. I cannot. I cannot get it to kick. Uh, I, I really need it to kick, but I. I just. I can't. It's like. It's the. I'd say it's the gift that keeps on giving. But uh, I actually don't really like the beer anymore. So. <laughs> It's not a bad beer, it's just, it's old now, there's no hops left in it, it's just malty and kind of bitter. And so, you know, you know how old, super hoppy beers get when they get old. Sometimes they, sometimes they get better, sometimes they get worse, this one got worse. So, uh, yeah, just working away on that. Uh, I had totally planned to film this at the uh, at the brew house because I've got some brew chores to do but um, you know uh, I ordered some yeast for a brew day that's been in the works forever uh, it's supposed to go on on Friday and you know because the everything takes forever because it's the holidays and shipping takes forever and I finally got the package and of course it was the wrong order that the guy sent so, of course, I had to write back to him and, oh, I'll send the right one. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm sitting around my house waiting for yeast because i I absolutely hoping to get it today. And I, I don't know, in Denmark, the post office works that if, uh, you know, if you're not there to answer the door, then they send it to the central post office and you got to friggin' go down there and pick it up. And that's a nightmare during this time of year. It's like 300 people in line all because we only have one post office from huge city stupid uh, anyway enough bitching uh so yeah i gotta sit at home and wait for the the postman that's why i'm not at the brew house uh you know what i actually what i have to do is uh i've got a chocolate milk stout and need to rack it to secondary and i need to rack it onto these babies this is um this is 150 grams of cocoa nibs or cacao nibs if you're fancy uh it's soaking in um in vodka which geez i put a ton of vodka in there I put like 300 milliliters in there and it's just like ooh, you can see a little bit of the soup in there but really soaked up a lot uh anyway uh, I actually had a question for everybody out there if you've used these before which i know probably quite a few of you have um, I read up on them online and it says that, uh, it said like some people say that you've got to, um, you just leave them in there for like a week and, uh, not the, not in the vodka, but in the beer, like you leave it in there a week and you get a nice flavor. Some people say you can, you should leave it in there longer or, you know, as long as you want, you can leave it to pick up like maximum flavor. Some people say that you have to like add them on a full moon and say an ancient prayer to count chocula so I, I don't know what uh, best results that you've gotten from uh, cocoa nibs put them in the put them in the comments if you've got any advice uh, they're going in one way or another uh, tomorrow or Friday hopefully I get that yeast because I, I want to make a starter I try and I try and package my chores because it's a pain to go to the brew house on my bike. Uh, other than that, though, uh, I also have two beers down there that need to be that can start getting drunk. Speaking of which, get through. Got to make some space for them. Um, other news: I know that uh, this weekend, this uh, Saturday, uh, everybody is uh, doing the memorial uh, brew day for Paul Wicksteed. I uh, I really wanted to do it. And there's still a chance that I can do it on Saturday, depending on, I have some plans, but they've gotten shaky uh, recently. So if they fall through, then I'll, I'll just run down and, and brew a beer. If not, I've, I've actually bought um, the stuff to, uh, I bought the grain. I actually had a lot of the hops laying around, um, surprisingly. That, that almost never happens. But uh, I actually had a lot of the hops laying around, and uh, I bought the grain for it the other day. So I am going to be brewing the Supercharger. Yeah, I should tell which beer it is. Uh, I want to brew the Supercharger. 
and uh, if I can't uh, if I can't live stream it because the brew house doesn't have Wi-Fi and I don't know if I can live stream off my tethered to my phone so but I'll definitely make a video and um, I'm gonna really try and watch some of the others I know that it starts at a weird the the like live brew days start at a weird time here in Europe but I'm really hoping to pop into a few or maybe have my own I don't know who knows maybe I'll just brew every day this weekend that would be kind of cool. Uh, that's all that's going on. I got a lot of beer. I got a lot of beer that needs to be drunk. Got, what's today, the 9th? Got about 10 more days until um, kind of the official start of the Christmas holiday off season where I get time off from work. So, you know, I'm stocking up, stocking up the hibernate for the winter. Uh, yeah, so... I hope uh, everybody out there is uh, having a good week. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you this weekend. Hopefully I can get in on some Google Hangouts or something. And uh, if not, good luck on your brew days. And uh, until next time, cheers.